What's up guys, Mike here with the Detroit Borg with a look at the Hue home lighting system from Philips. This is essentially a starter kit which gives you three bulbs and a wireless control unit that plugs into your home's wireless router. Now each bulb is then controlled wirelessly via an app on your iOS or Android device. So basically each light bulb is a wireless device. Now this starter kit is currently available at the Apple Store for $200 and you can purchase additional bulbs for $59.95. Each bulb is dimmable and color adjustable, which I will be demonstrating in this video. Now the box itself is quite impressive. On the front we have a color wheel, uh, which you can dial around to show off the color changing bulbs. Now opening the lid shows off three LED bulbs and the wireless bridge. Inside the front cover, that same wheel can be used to scroll through the instructions. Essentially, all you have to do is screw in the bulbs, connect the Wi-Fi bridge, and install the free Philips Hue app on your mobile device and follow the setup instructions. Now, after cutting the seal, we can take a look at the contents, and the first thing we see is the wireless bridge and the pairing button on the center. On the back is the power port and Ethernet jack. On the bottom, we'll find the mounting bracket, so we can mount this on the wall if we want, as well as reference to the fact that this uses the Zigbee communication protocol, which is a standard used by many other lighting and home automation companies. Below the wireless bridge is a brief instruction booklet which we can skip through here now the bulbs themselves are glass and metal and each bulb puts out about 600 lumens which is pretty typical for most led bulbs but it's not particularly bright so this is equivalent to a 53 watt incandescent bulb that's less than 60 watts now these are omnidirectional bulbs so they distribute light in a classic fashion like incandescent bulbs uh, a lot of led lights have a tendency to project light upwards instead of all around also included is a power supply for the wireless bridge as well as an ethernet cable for connecting the bridge to your router now the first thing we need to do is install the bulbs in our light fixtures and turn on the light switches and of course we have to connect the wireless bridge to the wireless router now you'll see your status indicators light up confirming that you have a successful connection to the router and you're good to go now, when you first launch the app on your device, you will need to press the pairing button on the wireless bridge in order to make the connection to the lighting control unit. Now, once pairing is successful, we should see all of our bulbs appear in the app. Now, right now, I only have the three bulbs, but you could add up to 50 on the same network. So now we have individual control options. We can control the brightness of each bulb. We can even turn them off all at the same time, and we can use the individual sliders to turn each one back on. Now, rotating the device to landscape gives you your color control options for each bulb. So here we can manually select a color from the color palette. Now on the left panel we have a traditional color palette for incandescent lighting. So we can select a warmer color temperature to a cooler color temperature. Now while the color palette on the left is very non-traditional, so you can select any color you want from red to blue and everywhere in between. Now you can also use a photograph to set the color and tones of the light bulb. The idea here is to replicate the experience of the photo, such as a warm sunset or a bright blue sky at the ski slopes. Essentially, you can drag your light bulb across the scene to choose the color, which will also change the brightness and uh, color to match the scene. You can choose photos from the Philips library, or you can take your own photos, or you can choose a photo from your own library. Now, more useful are the color recipes, which will change the light temperature and intensity to fit certain moods, such as a warm color temperature for relaxation or a cooler temperature to keep you awake. Now, you can also set a timer to turn the lights on and off at a specific time. You can even set the fade in and out duration from three to nine minutes to gently wake you up or gently put you to sleep. You also can rename the light bulbs manually so you can better keep track of where each light bulb is. So for example, if I have light bulbs in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the family room, I could designate those so I know which light bulbs I'm controlling at any given time. Now, although this is sold in the Apple Store, there is an Android app as well, uh, which works just the same. There's also an iPad app, which is optimized for the size of the iPad. Now, overall, I really like the concept of the lighting system, especially the remote control capabilities and the option to change the lighting moods to fit the situation. It's nice to be able to choose a cool and clean white light versus a warm and soft light for certain situations. But these are expensive and not as bright as other LED bulbs, which are much less expensive, usually about $16 or less. Now, it should be noted, however, that if you turn the lights on and off, they do default back to the standard brightness and color temperature. Essentially, it kind of acts as 
a reset button to make sure you can easily get back to a usable light. Uh, so for example, if you dim the lights and you turn them per pink or purple or blue or whatever, if you turn them on and off, they do get back to a usable light. So in conclusion, you're definitely paying the early adopter tax to buy something like this. Hopefully it'll get less expensive over time and they become more popular. But at this price, they're certainly a niche product. So that's going to do for me, guys, in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.